hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is angel messages and I have asked Archangel Gabriel to be with us through everything. So these wonderful angel messages are here for you. For those of you that are already good with choosing with your intuition this is pile number one pile number two pile number three pile number four and pile number five for anyone who would like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition i'm going to lead a short breathing exercise let's begin by closing your eyes take a slow deep breath in hold for three seconds one two, three, slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three, slowly release asking your angels which pile has the messages for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now a number between one and five or one of the crystals may pop into your mind. If it does, select that pile. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the pile that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. Obviously, there's no choice for Archangel Gabriel because she is going to be with us through all of the readings. And please understand that I say she, he, depending on how they look on the card. But Archangels and Angels are non-gendered. So really, we're just kind of picking a pronoun. But either way, Archangel Gabriel is going to be with us for all five piles. So let's go ahead and select a pile and I'll see you in your reading. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number one with this piece of carnelian. All right, like I said in the intro, Archangel Gabriel is going to be with us for all five piles. So we're going to put her right over here. Archangel Gabriel is the messenger. So I wanted the piles to come through nice and clear, which is why we've got Archangel Gabriel with us. Now, your first angel message is embrace change. So some of you are going through changes. Ooh, you also get Archangel Chamuel. Archangel Chamuel is the angel of love. And you get trust the flow. Okay, so you're being told to embrace change. You're being advised that Archangel Chamuel is with you. This is the Archangel of love. And you're being told to trust the flow, which means the universe is working at its own speed for whatever it is you're wanting. You will get there. Now, let's take a look at your tarot. All right, so some depression, maybe around the change. Oof, and the devil. All right, Archangel Chamuel. So we've got the Seven of Wands and Strength and the Nine of Wands. All right. So this looks kind of heavy. This is kind of a heavy energy, which is probably why we have Archangel Chamuel here letting you know that she is surrounding you with her love. You are being told to embrace change, and I think that you're resisting whatever change is happening in your life just a little bit because you got the Five of Cups, which is like depression, sadness, sorrow, and the devil coming out, which is about a feeling of being trapped and unable to really make progress like you're the the fool in the cage and even though the cage door is open the fool is still trapped 
Now, Archangel Chamuel comes out and says, where you're fighting, you're going to win. And she has wrapped her love around you. That's what the Seven of Wands is. And then this trust the flow is being clarified by strength. You are strong enough for whatever you're going through. This change is going to, the, the change that you need to embrace is going to bring you out of this devil five of cups energy. And then on trust the flow, you also have the nine of wands, which is about taking a really strong position somewhere that may cost you a sacrifice of some kind. So in this trusting of the flow, don't take these really strong positions just know that your angels are with you. They are guiding you and everything is going to be okay. You're going to come out of this devil energy. You have the strength for what you are going through in your you know, soul contract. Now let's take a look at moonology. All right. So your dreams need a practical plan and communication is key. And then we have daily crystal inspiration uh i'm sorry power of love activation of creativity you love to devise new ideas innovation and forms of illumination so your creativity is going to help you step out of this cage with the devil and then for strength you get another embrace change you guys are definitely going you got phantom courts embrace change now i have this little deck of star seed oracles that i thought i would draw one for you on screen so these are just little messages for the star seeds. Any of you that are identifying as star seeds, um, even if you don't identify as a star seed, these messages are full of wisdom. So let's see what you get. Stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. All right, so you're being asked by Archangel Chamuel to be still to take some time to think, to embrace the changes that you have in front of you. Let your creativity flow. Know that you need a practical plan to come out of this energy. And you guys, some of you are really struggling with feelings of sadness, loneliness, depression, being trapped, not being able to move, feeling like there's no way out. You need to embrace the changes in your life Know that you're going to be fighting for what you want, but you have Archangel Chamuel at your back and the strength to trust the flow. So embrace those changes and communicate with your angels. And of course, be still so you can feel the love and kindness and compassion that the angels are pouring out on you. All right, that is all I have for pile number one today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. For those of you interested in a private reading, please email me at the email in the comments and description and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number two with this amethyst pyramid. Now, like I said in the intro, Archangel Gabriel is going to be with us for all the piles today. Archangel Gabriel is the messenger. So I've asked Archangel Gabriel to be with us as we receive these angel messages. And we're very thankful for her presence here today. Now, for angel messages, you start with face your challenges. So you have angel support as you do. Be strong and kindness. Okay. All right, so you are definitely going through some challenge where you need to be strong, but the angels have wrapped their kindness around you, so everything is gonna be okay. Now let's take a look at your tarot and see what this is kind of about. All right, so you start with the Knight of Cups. Ooh, and then the Sun, that's beautiful. The King of Coins, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Swords, all right. So let's talk about what all this is because this is a lot of different stuff. The Knight of Cups talks about a romantic proposal or the next step in a romance. It can also be, you know, just a fun, dreamy time of idealism and even can represent new friends. So some of you may have challenges in one of those fields and this is actually happening to you right now. You're developing new friends and you have trouble making friends or you're in a relationship that's going to the next level and you have trouble with commitment. 
you know, the angels are telling you to face the challenge that's in this and know that they are with you and that they have brought out the sun, which is the most positive card in the deck. It is beautiful. And they're telling you, you have the, the capability of really facing your challenges with regards to, because this is a beautiful card. This is not a bad card at all. This says beautiful things are coming. It's just a lot of you have challenges in those areas. So you're being asked to be strong. The King of Coins comes out. It's a loving, generous energy that is absolutely financially stable and shares what it has with everyone else. So whether this energy represents you or someone in your life, you're being told to be strong with regards to this beautiful, compassionate, generous energy. And that could mean being strong enough to take a gift from someone that you really need that they are willingly giving to you. That takes an inner strength that people don't really think about. It's hard to admit that you need something and to take it from someone who offers it to you. But you're being asked to be strong. And if this is representing you, you're very financially stable, you're helping others, then be strong as you help others and don't expect anything in return. The universe will give you your return. Next, the King of Wands is coming out on kindness. This is a creative, passionate energy. And this kindness is also being clarified by the Knight of Swords, which is about paying attention to the details and, um, and whatnot and could represent challenges and tests. So your kindness is going to be needed to overcome whatever challenges and tests, but you have this creative passion. People are going to follow you. It's going to be beautiful. Now from Moonology, we get step out of your comfort zone. So that face your challenges. You're going to be needing to step out of your comfort zone with the North Node. And then a personal issue reaches resolution. So these challenges and tests are coming to an end with this uh, personal issue reaching resolution. Now for power of love activation, you get gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. All right, so with the sun, this gratitude, if you're manifesting, gratitude is the key. Gratitude is the answer when you're talking to angels. You know, you need to remember to be grateful. Your angels are surrounding you with love. Archangel Gabriel is here delivering you a message of love and compassion, telling you you can do it, telling you you can face your challenges, and she will be at your back following you the whole time. So that's beautiful. And then for your creative projects, you're being told to be the bigger person. So wherever you start something creative that you're passionate about, there may be some need for you to rise above a situation and show your kindness. So that is there. Now, finally, I have these little tiny star seed oracle cards, and I thought I would draw you one on screen. So let's see. This is for those of you that know your star seeds. I personally am Lemurian. So yeah, the star seeds, you know, for, for those of you that know your star seeds, this is wisdom from the star seeds. And for anyone who doesn't know or knows that they're not a star seed, these are cards of just wonderful wisdom. Now, let's see what they have to say to you. Ooh, that one's pretty. All right, intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. All right, so the fact that you came here today, the fact that you saw Archangel Gabriel's message to you, that it was about facing your challenges and, and showing gratitude and stepping out of that comfort zone into the blessings that you have coming. That is your intuition bringing you here so that you know you are protected by your angels. So follow your intuition. It will not lead you wrong. All right, that's all I have for pile number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number three with this piece of Howlite. Like I said in the intro, Archangel Gabriel is going to be with us through the entire reading, all five piles, because Archangel Gabriel is the messenger, and I've asked her to be with us 
and kind of guide us through the angel messages. So you have her energy with us here. Now let's take a look. Oh, you get Archangel Jophiel as well. So she's surrounding you with joy. And then you get show justice, which is often about balance and honor life cycles. So something is ending for the start of something new. All right, so let's take a look at your tarot and see what kind of coincides with this. Archangel Jophiel is the Archangel of Joy. She wraps you in joy. Look at all these butterflies coming out of her. She's just full of wonderful joy. And then show justice is about balance. Um, it can also be about fairness and just you know being fair with yourself, being fair with others. And then honor life cycles. Um, something has ended or will be ending very soon for the start of something beautiful and new. So just let go of the old, embrace the new, because it's gonna happen anyway. All right, so for Archangel Jophiel, you start with the two of coins, so decisions. Ooh, and the page of coins, so opportunity. The queen of coins, wow, look at all these coins. And the seven of cups, and the four, wow, out of five cards, you got four coins. So definitely something financial is happening for you. The two of coins talks about financial decisions, where you're gonna live, where you're gonna spend your money, who you're gonna live with. You know, th this is decisions about your money, but the implication from this is that you have the money to be making those decisions. So that's beautiful. And then the page of coins is about new opportunities. The queen of coins is a loving, generous, like she has everything she needs, she wants for nothing, she has plenty to share, and she shares it. So this show justice means if you are already in this queen of coins energy where you are financially stable and you can help someone, you should. Now, if you are not in this queen of coins energy already and you are struggling financially, know that this energy is coming to you so you can manifest this level of wealth. Just believe see it happening, tell your angels, tell Archangel Gabriel, tell Archangel Jophiel, ask for their help. They are here to support you. Now on this honor life cycles, you get the seven of cups. The seven of cups is about decisions, lots of decisions, lots of options, some of them good, some of them not so good. So you're being told make good decisions and let go of what's old, let go of what's passing at, away. And it doesn't necessarily mean someone is passing away. That's not what I mean. I mean a thing, a situation, an obstacle, something in your life is going by the wayside. Let it go and choose a replacement that's good for you. And then finally, you get the four of coins. This is financial stability. So for some of you, this queen of coins is someone that's going to help you. And you're going to become financially stable. For others of you, this is just reassurance that your financial stability is in the works. Um, for some of you, you're already financially stable, and this is just talking about how you can share what you have. Now, from Moonology, we get Surrender to the Divine, so you're being asked to let go, and then it's a time to give rather than take. Yeah, some of you are very financially stable and can help those around you and are really being advised by the angels to share what you have. Now, for the Page of Coins, you get Loyalty out of the Power of Love Activation, your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. So that's clarifying these new opportunities coming in. So your loyalty is going to bring in a new financial opportunity. So just keep practicing that loyalty. Keep demonstrating your devotion and consistency in the universe. Oh, and finally, we get Lemurian Courts Practice Patience. So as something's ending and something new is starting, the universe works at its own speed. So with this Lemurian Quartz, you're being told, be patient. You're going to have all these options coming in. You just have to essentially wait for them. All right. Now I have this little tiny deck of Starseed Oracle cards that I thought I would draw on screen for this reading. Uh, for those of you that are Starseeds, this is Starseed Wisdom. For those of you that know you're not star seeds, this is just general wisdom from the star seed deck. But um, I personally am Lemurian, so love that Lemurian quartz coming out there. All right, let's see. 
you get meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. All right, and see with this show justice, you know, justice is blind. You're being told to take a moment, figure out what it is you want, connect to source energy, and really meditate and decide you're going to surrender. Decide you're going to show your loyalty. Decide you're going to be patient. Decide you're going to give rather than take. All of that can come to you in a beautiful meditation. And if you have trouble meditating and you're like, yeah, I meditate, nothing happens. I meditate and my monkey mind goes crazy. Try an active meditation. That's what I'm getting for you. You can put on some binaural beats on your headphones, take a walk, you know, do something active as a meditation if you have trouble with a you know, sedentary meditation. All right. Well, thank you so much to Archangel Gabriel for being with us. And thank you to all of you for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, please email me at the email in the comments and description and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number four with this piece of angel light. All right, like I said in the intro, Archangel Gabriel is going to be with us for all five readings. So thank you to Archangel Gabriel. She's the messenger. So it helps to make the messages more clear. All right, so you start with hope. That's beautiful. And then courage. And harmony, wow, okay. So, hope, courage, and harmony. Archangel Gabriel is coming in to tell you that the angels are providing you with hope. So feel the hope shining down on you. The courage that comes from inside you with Archangel Gabriel, stay there. That comes from inside you. So your courage is more than enough for whatever you're going through. And then harmony, you're being asked to live in harmony with the world around you, with the people around you. Now let's take a look at your tarot and get a little more info. All right, so you start with the nine of coins on hope. So opportunities knocking down your door. Ooh, and the ace of cups. It's a brand new emotional start, a fiery romance that you have the courage for, so don't be afraid. And then a new perspective for harmony and death, which is this the end of something for the start of something new. All right, so opportunities knocking down your door. Keep that hope alive and it'll bring more opportunities. A brand new emotional start, which looks like a fiery romance for a lot of you. So those of you that are not in a committed relationship, you have got a romance coming in and it's coming out on courage. So I think a lot of you have fear around romance. You want it so badly, but you're secretly afraid. So bring your courage, call out to Archangel Gabriel, you know, call out to, you know, tell her that you need her assistance and your, her help communicating in this new relationship. Now for harmony, you get a different perspective. So you're being asked to live in harmony, but you need to see something a little different for that harmony to really ring true. And then something's ending. When you see death come out, something is ending. But know that it's not necessarily a bad ending. It could be a really good ending that brings you something beautiful. Like this Ace of Cups is starting here. This Knight of Wands is starting a new romance for many, many of you. So let whatever this that needs to go, go. Live in harmony with the universe and know that things pass on for new things to come in. Now, for Moonology, you get nothing is yet set in stone, so those opportunities are coming to you, but you have to have the hope for them, or they're not going to come through. So, just remember, nothing is set in stone. You have a part in this. You have free will to choose what you want to do. Now, for Death, you get a time for healing, so something is ending that's giving you time to heal. Whether this is a change in career, a change in... This could be a change in anything, but it's going to bring in healing. Now, out of power of love activation, you get cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. 
All right, that's coming out on the Ace of Cups. So you've got a new emotional beginning, but you are being asked to really manifest the energy of love and accept that everyone, everyone, everyone has value and every experience has value. Oh, you got more angelite. Okay, angelite support is all around you. Angelite has this card, this card makes the angelite look blue. This is also angelite. This is also angelite. So angelite comes in different forms, but um, support is all around you. Archangel Gabriel is coming out to tell you, you have got the courage. You've got the hope. You have got the harmony. You can do whatever is out in front of you. And it's a brand new beginning for most of you with an emotional, with something emotional. Like a lot of you are having this new whirlwind romance. Now I got this beautiful new star seed deck and I thought I would pull a card on camera for you. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. That is beautiful. You are full of hope. You are full of courage. You are capable of living in harmony with any and everything around you. So shine your light. Let the world see it. And it's going to bring in these beautiful things. All right. That is all I have for pile number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, please email me at the, at the email address in the comments and description, and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number five with this Amazonite. All right, like I said in the intro, Archangel Gabriel is with us for all five piles today. Archangel Gabriel's the messenger, and I've asked her to be here to make the messages come through very clearly since they're angel messages. Now, oh, you get Archangel Michael, Archangel for protection, cutting cords. You're being told to seek enlightenment and be tolerant. All right, so Archangel Michael is the leader of all the archangels. He has showed up in your reading to let you know that you are protected. And for some of you, it's time to cut cords. So you can find cord cutting rituals on YouTube. There, I, I may do a segment on how to cut cords, but, uh, but right now there's plenty out there on YouTube to tell you how to cut cords with Archangel Michael. And some of you need to do that. Now this seek enlightenment is look into your heart, look into your gut, look into your mind, look to the divine. Seek that enlightenment because the archangels are bringing it to you. And then be tolerant. There's something in your life you have to be tolerant of. So we all have things we have to tolerate that is just asking you to please be tolerant of the struggles or lessons you're learning. Now Archangel Michael is bringing you victory with the Six of Wands. And ooh, financial stability with the Palace of Coins. Stepping into your own power with the Queen of Wands. You got another palace, the Palace of Swords. So you got to be tolerant. Uh, wow. Okay. Unbelievable. You have got three palace cards out of five cards. And there's only four palace cards in the entire deck. And they're not even in a standard tarot deck. So let's deal with the palaces. You got the palace of coins, which is about living. Basically all the palaces are like living in a place of the suit energy. So this is financial abundance. This is your action center. This is your power. And this is your emotion center. Now you've got victory coming out. There's, there's a lot of just general energy and I think it may be confusing for some of you all of this energy that's going on in your life right now, which is why you're being told to seek enlightenment and be tolerant. Sometimes it's difficult when you're trying to figure out where to take action, what you need to do. Look into your emotions, see what path you're on. This queen of wands is stepping into your power and Archangel Michael is saying he's got your back and you are going to win where you put your effort. So like, look how bright this, this wand is. He is definitely one. Like that is the victor in the situation. So, and, and it represents you. So you have all of this opportunity in front of you 
You just have to be tolerant of the lessons you're learning while you're going through it. Now, from Moonology, you get a win-win outcome as forecast. Yeah, I bet it is. You got Archangel Michael. You got the Six of Wands. Now you get a win-win out of Moonology. And conclusions are within reach. So this meditation, this looking into your emotion center, conclusions are there. You just have to look for them. Now, out of power of love activation, you get purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. All right, that goes with the Palace of Coins and Lapis Lazuli. Make a decision going with the Palace of Swords. The Palace of Swords was your action center. You have a decision you need to make. You know what the decision is. You know what the angels are talking to you about. It's different for each and every one of you, but that decision still needs to be made. You're going to need to take some action soon. Now, for the final card, I have this cute little starseed oracle deck, and I thought I would get you one on camera. You get Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. That is beautiful. All right. Thank you so much to Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Michael for being with us for these messages. Thank you to all of you for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, please email me at the email address in the comments and description, and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.